Good morning. If you are hearing this video, um, hearing this voice, watching this video, we're going to talk a little about climate change and whether or not it's true. And if we as people can do something to change what's going on right now. So as many of you may know, right now the weather is very, for lack of better words, bipolar. I say this because one minute it's sunny and 80, the next day it may rain and drop down to 40 degrees and we may have a tornado. These are parts of climate change. Climate change is when the climate in not just one distinct region, but all over the nation, all over the globe, rather, when it, it's, it's changing for reasons unknown or where rather reasons we know why, but we kind of push to the wayside. Um, in previous years, we've seen various states like Texas, Atlanta, Louisiana, you know, the states where it's not supposed to get freezing cold in recent years have been cold in December, January, February. These are parts of climate change when the environment has had something catastrophic happen or there's an imbalance in the atmosphere, it causes those areas to have to adapt to what's going on. For instance, I'm from St. Louis. There, it normally gets cold in the wintertime. We normally see temperatures between anywhere. They can range from 40 degrees to about 20. That's normal. In recent years, with me being 26, I've lived there my whole life. Um, the weather has sometimes changed in the winter to going negative two below zero or in the summer months where it normally stays, you know, 80 to 90 to 95 degrees. It has skyrocketed with the heat index to maybe, I don't know, a hundred degrees or like a, it'll say real fill 105. These are all parts of climate change because of the pollution in the air, the pollution in the water supply, like the oceans, these things control your climate. People say climate change is, is fake. Climate control is fake. No, they're not. These are real things that we need to really deal with head on because that in turn, what we do now will dictate what happens to our planet in the future. For instance, when COVID first happened last spring and they enforced the lockdown over various nations, including the United States, the earth started to heal itself. And when I say heal itself, if you look at an aerial view of the whole planet earth, you could see that it was starting to go back to how it should be, which is water and there should be a balance between water and land masses, along with the hurting of the ozone layer. The ozone was actually healing itself because everybody was in the house. Nobody was driving a car. Nobody was littering outside. Those things change the environment and people don't realize it. When everybody was at home for whether it was a month, two months, six months, a year, in some countries, it was helping the ozone and helping the actual climate. Now we're here in 2021 and I want to say back in January, March, January and February of this year, Alabama, y'all got snow. That's not normal down here because this is a warmer climate, but it was 30 something degrees and you guys got snow. Whereas in St. Louis, it's cold there, but it don't suppose to get to negative two degrees. It didn't even know negative zero was a thing. But because of climate change and the environment being so harmed by us cutting down trees, us polluting the air with green, um, I can't think of the word, I think it's called green gases, which is basically like a, a cover around the earth, us um, killing off different mammals to feed us. These are things that in turn mess up the balance, the happy balance that's supposed to be in this, on this planet. These are things that we can change as people. If we recycle more, if we use biodegradable 
plates and just things in general, if we find other means of fuel, electricity, things like that, those are things that in turn will change how this planet is going forward. Because right now the planet is dying and nobody wants to talk about it. These are things that we need to talk about right now because what we do now, just like with any problem in the in the world, period, what you do now dictates what happens in the long run. So is climate change a real thing? Yes, it is. Can we change it? Yes, we can. Do we want to? Some people do, some people don't. But we all need to come together as one and say we want to save our planet. With that being said, always go green and everybody have a great day.